In this episode of my silly little internet show, I'm going to talk about this immersion research sack of despair. It's a great name, by the way. This is where you put your spare paddle in a kayak. Before this, there's not, there hasn't really been a good solution. What I've done, my best thing, is just take my spare paddle and jam it in halves in my kayak underneath my float bags. So here's the other one. And they're just kind of jammed in here. They were duct taped. To, ooh, there's, there's a flip line. That's good to know about. Anyway, uh, they're jammed in here like this. I have them duct taped together. This duct tape came off. And the idea is they would sit there under the float bags. Now, my float bags right now are not that tight because I've been paddling like class two, three. I'm probably not going to swim. If I'm going to swim, I'm going to tighten up my float bags. But if I did swim in class two or three, these are just loose and I would lose them. And they're very expensive. This spare paddle is like 200 bucks, maybe more. But this is the best solution I've had. So you can see I have electrical tape. I've kind of taped it all together here. And it's just sort of been a mess in the back of my kayak. And I've never been happy with the solution. They kind of jostle around a little bit. And then when I go to get them, if I have to use it, I have to basically have a knife to cut all this tape off, which I have a knife with me, but it's an annoying process. So the idea, oh, I should close that knife. The beauty of this bag that I just got the other day, I saw Immersion Research had it for sale on their website through an email they sent me. Thank you, Immersion Research, for the great emails. And I went and bought it immediately because there's a store in my shop, or a shop in my, my So basically what you do is you take your paddle shafts, and there's a little place to put them inside here. I'm not sure if I need these like specific paddle shafts. Ooh, there's, a little, there's even a tiny little holder here for them. Oh, that's really cool. There's an exact spot. I'm not sure if I need that level of amazingness in a bag, uh, but I'll take it. Why not? And then I'll put my other shaft in there, which I can't find right now. And then the blades just go in as well. So, like that. And then, where did the other shaft go? Anyway, I'll find the shaft later. That's not important to the video. I just close this down, clip it, and now I can clip it into the back of my bag. It's pretty cool. Like, and then it's not or back in my kayak. I said back in my bag. I mean back in my kayak. I just clip it in. It's stuck back there. I feel like it's in good hands like this. If I need to pull it out, I just pull this out. If my float bags are a little bit loose, I'm not as stressed about it. And they're in this fancy bag. Now, a lot of you researched this bag probably and said, $50 is a lot of money for a bag. And you, you might be right. Um, these are made in the Hood River by people paid U.S. wages. Uh, they're well made. It's kind of a unique product. And Immersion Research is a good company. They're not ripping you off. They're just charging what it costs to make a bag like this with labor based in Hood River. So this is a much needed thing. This is my $200 paddle that I could lose that's now very secure in this $50 bag that has a cool little Immersion Research tag on it right there that says Made in Hood River. So I'm stoked on this. I'm probably going to buy one for my other kayak now because it's really handy. And yeah, that's all I, that's all I have. It's a, it's a great product. If, I'll put a link down below to Immersion Research website if you want to buy one. And if you have thoughts, comments, anything to add, please do. The name is awesome. Sack of Despair. It's just a beautiful name. It, it captures it so well. So good job Immersion Research on the name, on the product. And that's it. See you next time.